namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth's Dose of Dharma and this is a Dose of Dharma for today. So today we're going to talk about the next group of tools, okay, for generosity. Generosity, let's just name it as dana, the Bali word. And it is dana tainted with thought and dana untainted with thought. So what is dana tainted with thought? That means if somebody, in order to offer a gift to somebody, they kill, steal, commit sexual misconduct, which is adultery, they lie, or they win a drinking competition, <laughs> drink alcohol, <laughs> or they do something unwholesome, and then they earn some money through this unwholesome ways or illegal way, and then after that, with that money that they got, they go and do some gift to somebody, they may do something to charity, then this is a kind of a dana tainted with thought. The dana itself, okay, the act of charity is not the problem, okay? But the way they got the money, okay, is tainted with unwholesomeness. So that will give a little bit of problem. What would be the problem that may occur when somebody use this kind of uh, way to do their dana? Well, for example, let's say in the case of a fisherman, then they accumulate their wealth through fishing, through killing animals and things like that. Then after that, this may be in the present life, this may be in the past life, okay? So people who have accumulated wealth through this way, and then because they accumulated some wealth, they also may give to charity, alright? They may give some gift to charity, they may give to their parents. This is also a gift of money, this is also a gift of property, it's also a kind of a dana. Then, they will find that because of this kind of way to accumulate wealth, and then after that they go and they accumulate wholesome merits with this through dana. Then next time, they'll find that when they want to do some jobs that doesn't involve the killing of animals, that doesn't have unwholesomeness associated with it, then they may find that it's very difficult for them, maybe in the beginning or throughout that career, to earn money. And why is that so? Why is that so? That's, that's because of this kind of karma. The karma that they accumulated wealth through unwholesome ways and then doing generosity doing dana with it with the money uh, that they accumulated through unwholesome ways then they will find that when they want to convert to a good job that doesn't associate with this kind of unwholesomeness then it's very difficult for them to accumulate wealth through that way but if they go back to their old ways maybe like being a fisherman or something like that ah then they will they will accumulate wealth again Okay, this is this is like that. So what is dana untainted with thought? That means the giving of a gift untainted with unwholesomeness. Unwholesomeness means like killing, stealing, adultery, lying, drinking alcohol, taking intoxicants, harsh speech and divisive speech, you know, and things like that. So any kind of unwholesomeness. Uh, as long as it's unassociated with this kind of unwholesomeness and somebody accumulates wealth through this kind of good way and then through that wealth that they accumulated, they go and offer a gift, then this is called a gift, a dana, untainted with thought. So what happens now? Like you may say, oh, Bande, but I am maybe like operating something illegal now. Then what can I do? I cannot earn a living with other things or things like that. Hmm? Well, we really have to try to change the way you accumulate wealth. It may be hard in the beginning, but from the wealth that you accumulate through righteous ways, legal ways, then after that you go and try to do uh, charity or try to practice generosity with the wealth accumulated from that. Bit by bit, bit by bit, and this kind of wealth, uh, this kind of adana untainted with thought, this kind of karma will gradually increase and gradually increase and gradually increase and then after that you'll find that uh, things will get better mm? it's like that oh, this is how we change it mm. so with cause and effect 
with the laws of cause and effect. Some people say, oh, it's like I can't do this, I can't do that. But you see, when we understand cause and effect, there's so many things that we can do to change our lives, right? Because of this, we always have hope in life. Why? Because if I want this certain effect, then I keep working on the causes. And when the conditions are fulfilled and the karmic seeds have ripened, then the phenomenon will arise by itself. But we cannot control when the phenomenon will arise. But what we can control is to keep putting in the right causes in order for the right phenomenon to have a higher possibility to ripen and to manifest and uh, to appear in our life like this. Okay, so with this, I wish all of you to be well, peaceful and happy and may the Trishupa Jain bless all of us to be able to attain path, operation and Nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.